Hey crafters, it's me, Jen Evers with Quality Crafts, and I'm going to share with you today a slider card how-to tutorial. Now this is the one that I showed on one of my recent videos, and it's a Tallulah Rouge Digi, a Tallulah Girls Digi, where when you pull on the slider, the little guy comes out of the leaf. I'm going to show you an easier way to do this than cutting this out, and it'll be completely hidden. You ready? Join me at the table. Let's get started. So here you can see that I have two different types of this card. This one goes right up the center and there's two little cut marks, but they're quite hidden. You don't see them as well. And the pull tab is up in the right hand corner. So when you pull, it goes straight up and down. It reveals a message right here and it reveals a message at the top right here. Okay, so that one's really fun. Same exact way of making this card, only this one has a slit right down the side here that you can hardly see. And it just has one slit down the side and it comes, pulls up from the center. This one pulls up the same way, only it will reveal something here. And it could reveal something there, but I didn't put anything on that bottom, but that's completely up to you. So I'm gonna show you how to make the base of this card and then you can decide where you wanna do your cut marks. What I use to make my card is one eight and a half by 11 sheet of white paper for the inserts that come out. One eight and a half by 11 sheet of any kind of colored card stock for the outside of the card. And then a piece of pattern paper of any style that you like. First thing you're gonna do is take your outer card stock and you're gonna cut it in half. So with eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, it'll turn into two card bases at five and a half by eight and a half. And then you're going to turn that and you're gonna score it at four and at eight. So I've got my five and a half by eight and a half and I'm gonna score it at four and at eight. You go ahead and crease those score marks and that will give you the base of your card. Your tape's gonna go right here and that's how your card is gonna come together. Next, we're going to take our, our piece of white and we're going to go ahead and cut a piece that's three and three quarters by five. And if you go ahead and cut two, then you'll have two ready to go with the two card bases that we just made. The other thing you're going to do, because you'll get two of them side by side, you'll have this big piece of paper left, or you'll have a strip left on the edge if you want to use that. You're going to want to go ahead and make a couple strips that are three inches by three quarter inch. So if you have a strip that's left on the end, you might be able to get two out of that. Again, three inches by three and a quarter, because that's going to be what moves up and down. And that comes from your eight and a half by 11 piece of white paper. Okay, last piece that we need to cut is our designer paper and whatever kind of color that you decided on, and I picked this today. And that is going to be cut at three and three quarter by five and a quarter. So now I'm gonna show you how all these pieces look, all cut out and how they go together. Okay, this was our five and a half by eight, scored at four and eight. That's gonna to close together. The pattern paper is going to fit right on top, just like that. Your slider piece of white is going to fit right on the inside like this. And then after we make our cut mark, this piece is going to go through the cut mark on the inside and part of it's going to stay on the outside. So let me show you how to do that. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and adhere this to the top of the card. And my ATG gun has escaped me. There he is. I'm going to go ahead and just put this down. And the reason why I'm doing this first is because I don't want to have to cut my slit twice. And I'm not putting a lot of tape on the center, if any, because when I cut it, I don't want it to get stuck to my cutter. So I'm going to put that right on the front of the card. I centered as I can. Okay. And then these two pieces we're going to hold on to because we're going to need those in a moment, but we're going to do our cuts next. So what I like to do is just use my trimmer for this, and I'll show Remember you how. Remember in the beginning when I showed you these two cards, and I showed you that this one has two slits cut, and this one just has one slit cut right up the side? You can put that anywhere you wish, depending on what you're going to layer or put on your card and how you want it to move. And if you want to make a card that's got something that comes out from underneath, you just go ahead and take your element at the very end and pop that it above what's sliding. I hope you get what I mean. If you don't, let me know. So on this card, I'm just going to choose to do one kind of just off center. And I'm going to put my card all the way up to the top of my trimmer. So that's zero where it starts. And I'm going to go from the four and a half mark on the bottom all the way up to the one inch mark. So one down to four and a half. And that'll give you a slit right there. 
Okay, again, if you don't get that exactly right, it's okay, it'll still work. Next thing is that this little piece is going to go on the inside with a little bit sticking on the outside. This is where you're going to put your pop dot and where you're going to put any of the elements that you want to put on there that are going to slide with this. The other piece right here on the inside that's sticking, that's where we're going to stick the slider piece to on the inside, okay? But before we get to that, we want to make sure that we have a place for our pull tabs. So you want to decide where you want to put that See, I believe this is out. just a one inch punch. You can use any size you want. It really doesn't matter. And I'm just going to cut off a piece randomly where I want it. And I went ahead and did both. So when I want to pull that out, I can get it out easily. Okay, so again, this is going to go on the inside with just a little bit sticking out. And that's where we're going to put our pop dot. So I'm going to bring mine out just a little bit. Make sure I get my pop dot on there or your dimensional. And then I'm going to make sure that it's all the way to the bottom of the card. To the bottom of that slit as far as it will go. And then I'm going to glue this on. So I'm going to add adhesive just to the inside here on this piece. You want to make sure that you use your best adhesive on the inside because if it comes undone, the card will be glued closed, all right? Okay, when we put this on here, we want to make sure that we line it up in between these two here. What I'm looking at is the score mark here and the edge of the paper. And then lay it down so that it folds on there. And then on this strip to the right, you're going to put the next bit of adhesive that you have. And this is what's going to make the card closed. And I make sure that it goes over the top of that white card and down. And then we can just test it out and see if it slides. And sure enough, it does very nicely. So all we have to do is just add on our piece. Okay, so let's say that this is our piece. Actually, let's pick something smaller so I can give you an idea of this. Let's say this is the piece that we want to come flying out. And by that I mean, remember this card where the little butterfly comes out from underneath, underneath the leaf? Pretend this is our butterfly. He's going to be coming out, okay? So what we want to do to make sure that he's hidden before he comes out is pop dot this piece up. So put your pop dots on where it's not going to touch this, so anywhere around here, and pop dot it up. And then when you pull it, that will come out. The butterfly will come out, out from underneath. I hope you got the gist of that. I think it was pretty clear. If not, leave a comment in below, down below, and I will try to um, help you out with that in any way I can. If you enjoy my videos and you like my tutorials, please give me a big thumbs up, share me with your friends, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video.